that's quite strange. Never had that happen before. What's up, it's Eric. I got the Arma Fire Team here. Had an awesome bash with this thing. Uh, testing out an awesome new Basher Queen part, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Uh, first of all, big shout out to uh, Brian Loftus, or Loftus, <laughs> sorry if I got the name wrong, for uh, sending out this, um, this uh, interior right here, because my prior fire team was completely shot. They had to retire. Uh, they had pretty much uh, lost their guns in her hands, and they were uh, all laying down inside the cab. So they were, they were finished, so she's got a brand new uh, interior, a whole new team right here which I had to go ahead and glue the guns <laughs> with some shoe goo and their arms and everything together to try to keep them in the truck during these uh, hard sins and stuff. But I had an awesome time with it. Also, you guys may have noticed my videos are getting a little further spread apart. I just haven't had the time here lately. And also with the weather, it's just constantly raining and everything's really muddy. And I got a lot of other things going on, some other hobbies, which I may be introducing to the channel uh, here shortly, just to uh, kind of change things up a little bit. The main reason for this video, I want to show you this Basher Queen diff case right here. These are available. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check these out or pick one up. I mean, super nice diff cases. They are uh, 7075, a uh, tumbled finish. And one thing I really love about it is the uh, cover right here uh, for the case is also aluminum. So I really uh, lock that diff in there nice. There's no flex in it. You're not going to worry about breaking off uh, the tabs and stuff on here on uh, hard nosers and stuff like that. So it really keeps that uh, diff locked in. Uh, no flex, which will also uh, help save your gears, your ring and pinion, everything like that. It has this beautiful uh, Basher Queen carbon fiber cover right here and also aluminum sway bar cover. So I really lock that sway bar down because I've lost so many sway bar covers in the past, even with the hot racing diff cases. So it's really nice to have that uh, locked in and also that cover just locks everything down also. So beautiful work by Basher Queen. This truck took a major pounding. This is actually after the bash. She does have a broken arm right here. Uh, which kind of cut my run a little bit short if you guys can see that because I didn't have a spare arm with me I ended up having to order some and here's a quick shot of the diff case installed in the truck This is the front. Um, I do have a hot racing one in the back So I just decided to uh, switch out the front first. Uh, it's also paired with the m2c racing uh, Towers right here, which which are now available on the m2c website You guys check that out too if you want to uh, make your uh, fire team pretty much indestructible But again, this thing took a hard pounding uh, uh, several hard nosers and stuff and this diff case held together kept the gears together and uh, I was able to uh, just uh, keep on trucking. I am still running the stock stance on this thing uh, Stock hubs and stock tires guys. These are the original tires that came with this truck uh, When I got it over a year ago and they are holding up perfect. I still haven't blown a tire, blown a foam. I do have a spare brand new set just in case, but I'm just running these things until they blow up and they have held together. Glue beads have held. As far as the electronics, she's still got the Power HD 23 kilogram servo in there. Max 6 ESC with a Hobby Star 1480 KV 4092. That's her diff case has also come with these gaskets right here to uh, seal the dirt and grime out of your uh, diff case. And also these uh, shims right here to uh, get the perfect uh, mesh on your ring and pinion. Her diff case has come as a whole kit. You know, again, this does come with the cover, the uh, sway bar cover, the nice uh, Basher Queen carbon fiber logo right there. Also, all the hardware that you need and also um, uh, bearings as well. So, again, big thanks to Basher Queen for all of her hard work and a uh, drive to uh, make these awesome upgrades for these rigs.
Oh, that was rough. Just love this fire team, guys. This thing's an animal. Oh, just cleared that big concrete pillar. Man, that was close. Because <laughs> I just love sending off these berms like that. Sounds like my gear mesh is a little tight. Guys, check this out. This is one big rock. Talk about a, a boulder just sitting here in all its uh, excellence. Oh, couldn't get the rotation right on the nose. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is going on here? <laughs> it looks like you got a shock issue. <laughs> flew off <laughs> what the world <laughs> well that's quite strange never had that happen before oh yeah i had a hub completely disintegrate look at that not even sure how that happened i guess that uh hard landing on the concrete just shattered it i might have to go to aluminum hubs on this thing i believe arma tough <laughs> Oh, that was close. Somebody got ejected. <laughs> <laughs>